Port wine stain, um, which is now known as nevus flamus. Again, important condition to rule out and diagnose and rule out any underlying syndromes. There is something called nevus uh, simplex, and simplex means um, um, symbol, and this is usually seen as a retinitis patch around the eyes and forehead, which is known used to be known as angel or angel kiss, and also another pigmentation of red patches on the back of the scalp, which is known as stork bite, but this is known as nevus inflamus of nevus flamus. And this is um, usually vascular malformation of unknown cause. It's quite rare. It's about 0.3% of the newborn, um, persistent. Uh, there is no topical or treatment, a systemic treatment can be um, uh, uh, prescribed apart from regular follow-up and maybe considering lasers. You need to rule out three important syndromes, as you know, associated with them. Um, port wine stain, the Sturge Weber syndrome, which usually presented with a large port wine stain affecting the trigeminal area of the face, and the baby will have a small brain, calcification sometimes, uh, seizures, uh, meningeal angiomas or hemangiomas, glaucomas is very close around the eye, and even optic atrophy. Uh, Kleber Chenuani syndrome, again, um, uh, important syndrome that need to be ruled out, which usually appears later in life, uh, and because of the vascularity of the affected limb, limb or like arm or leg, one arm will be bigger or large than, larger than the non-affected uh, site. And this is, can be complicated by thrombophlebitis, seepage of lymph, cellulitis and ulceration. So you, when you see the baby you need with the port wine stain on the, on the extremities, you need always to measure the size of the limbs and compare both sides. Another rare pro, uh, syndrome associated with uh, port wine stain uh, as Proteus syndrome, which usually presented with uh, large hands and feet uh, or one side of the whole body with uh, various birthmarks, including vascular malformation, connective tissue nevi, uh, epidermal nevi, and multiple lipomas.